So, we received a lot of rain after a long dry set. Mosquitoes were aggressive before the rain. I can't imagine yeah. what they're going to be like now. Did you know anything that holds water for seven days or more can produce mosquitoes? Even a, a bottle cap, right? Bottle cap. So a bottle Tiny. cap, they can produce and lay eggs and produce young from there. Tires. Tires are the big deal. Like, you know, a lot of a lot of municipalities, like, they want to get rid of the tires because they become spots like that you can't. Like, you ever tried to empty the water from a tire? Oh, God. Hard. Yeah, I mean, it's like you're rolling around, it's still in it. You turn it on its side, it still stays in it. You know, so bird baths, pet dishes that are left out, even even pools that, even chlorinated pools. You know, it's some things that you can do is this. You know, make sure that you've got no standing water in your buckets. Now, bird baths, bloomer cells, a... a uh, a spray that that or it's basically it's drops that you can put into your bird bath that will control the mosquitoes without hurting the birds. So that's something. Check out your local garden center for that. Your trash cans, drill holes in the bottom of your trash cans, and that that will get rid of a spot where they can go. Uh, gutters that are clogged or that have. Uh, a slope down you got to clean them out and get them from again because they don't necessarily need like a pool standing water they can do wet soil as well as long as it, it stays fairly wet you- all right you ready here's here's some fun facts on uh on mosquitoes uh only females mosquitoes require a blood meal and bite animals warm or cold-blooded and birds interesting did you know that yeah. So it's the ladies, <laughs> the, the lady <laughs> mosquitoes that are the ones that are biting. Bite Male mosquitoes don't bite, but they feed on the nectar of flowers and, and other, say, sugar sources that are around. So you'll see them at your hummingbird feeder, too. Oh, the next one's for you. The next one's for me. What? <laughs> Acquiring blood meal for essential for egg production. It's mostly both male and female mosquitoes are both nectar feeders for their nutrition. That one? Bigger people are often Where are you? attractive. You're, you're in the wrong spot, Julio. <laughs> of the, you're still with, to the other side. With again, it, it's the the food that they get from basically biting animals is their first choice. Here's something: the eggs are laid at one time, so so they attached together to form like a raft and they float on the surface of the water and they they can there can be as many as 200 eggs so all of a sudden you have one mosquito and then that one ends up laying eggs and you end up having 200 and like what was our first you know that quote from matthew same type of thing as some species lay their egg on damp soil, that'll be flooded by water. Most eggs hatch larvae within 48 hours, so two days. Ugh, I wonder why I'm getting bit all over. Uh, newly emerged adults rest on the surface of the water for a short time and allow themselves to dry before they and harden before their wings harden. They, they go and they can fly away. But I think you've seen the squigglies in water that uh, those are the the babies and that if you've got a pond hopefully your fish are helping you out and eating those which they should be um blood feeding and mating doesn't occur for a couple of days wow great (laughs) man (laughs) born get to work (laughs) we need a bigger family so all right how long do mosquitoes live uh not very long about two weeks yep yeah, and that most of them meet a violent end. Oh, my gosh. Good. Environmental. Yeah. Well, no, violent end. Yeah. Birds, Our dragonflies, own. spiders, and they, they help quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they're killed by, by wind, rain, or drought. So additional fun facts that, that Julio was alluding to earlier. When you talk a lot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that it's the carbon uh, dioxide and lactic acid, among other chemicals, that mosquitoes are attracted to. Um, they can detect infrared radiation, so warm bodies they can they can 
They can sense that, sense see that, that uh, at a distance of from 75 to 100 foot. It's pretty close. Uh, bigger people, they're larger target, uh, are often more attractive to mosquitoes because they uh, produce more mosquito tracts, namely CO2 and, and lactic acid. Active or fidgety people also produce more CO2 and, and lactic acid. Julio's one here, smelly feet are attracted to certain species of mosquitoes, yeah. as is Lindberger cheese. <laughs> Dark clothing has yeah. shown to attract some species of mosquitoes more than lighter color. So if you can wear a lighter color at night, it might help you out. Okay. Um, movement increased mosquito biting up to 50% in some research tests. So freeze. Don't move. <laughs> There's a mosquito around. Uh, a full moon. Increased mosquito activity five hundred percent in wow. one study. Maybe it's because they can see better. I don't. I don't know. That's interesting. There are one hundred and seventy six species wow. of mosquitoes in the United States. Wow. That's quite a bit. The average mosquitoes. Here we go. How much is away? And get out your scale. Two point five milligrams. <sighs> Barely. I mean, you, you don't feel it when it lands on you. You usually see it, or you, you get that itch right away. Uh, it takes about five millionths of a liter of, of blood during feeding. If I didn't get the rash, I probably wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> so Mosquitoes fly an estimated one to one and a half miles per hour. Eh. Slow. You ever go down the shore and, yeah. like, you're on the beach or, you know... Salt marsh mosquitoes can migrate up to 40 miles for, for a meal. Wow. <laughs> uh, all amazing. right. So we've established we don't like mosquitoes. <laughs> I don't like mosquitoes. Here are some control options. Did you do you ever did you have the fog truck, the mosquito fog truck that oh, would come yeah. by in the neighborhoods? Uh -huh. yeah. Aaron, North Jersey always had them. Up north, not where I'm at now, though. No, oh, no. no. Kind of leave that up to us. Yeah. <laughs> to do yeah. so, <laughs> so what it would do is it, is it would be a, a fogging that helps. And Bonine has something called Fog RX, and it's a line of thermal foggers. Uh, and that what you do is you use it in conjunction with mosquito beater insect fog spray, and you put it in this machine. And what it does is, is it makes it like a smoke machine. If you ever seen if you have seen that, and it can work into cracks and crevices and into plants and and be able to get those mosquito populations down. Uh, it's safe for people, plants, pets, livestock, and it doesn't leave uh, without, it doesn't leave much of a, of a residue. There's a Bonai Mosquito Beater, which is quick and easy to apply, ready to use, no mixing, no water. Uh, there's a granule with that same name. And here in studio, Julio, right in front of you, uh, if you're looking on YouTube, please subscribe. And that there is an aerosol fogger that is mosquito beater. That that works very well. If you're going to have a party or something, you know, go ahead and spray that about 20 minutes before your guests arrive, and that that will reduce the mosquito population. A lot of the repellents, um, like for instance, a ready to spray repellent mosquito beater has geranium oil, cedar oil, lemongrass oil. It's it's all organic. Citronella oil. We all know about that. Uh, if, and it repels for up to three weeks. It, it is, you know, we talked about the, um, in a, a bird bath that you can use a mosquito beater. Uh, it's a, actually, it's a water-soluble pouch that you can, and, it's, and it dissolves in water. And the, and the granules, it's BT, uh, Bactylus thuringiensis. It's a, it will mess up with the digestion system of the mosquito. And before they uh, become breeding, biting adults, including those which carry West Nile virus, encephalitis, and equine encephalitis. So what does that mean? That means that while there's still those squiggly things in the, in the water, that it wipes them out before they get a chance to, to come to adults. I like that idea. One pouch will treat 50 square foot of water. So perfect for ponds and fountains, things like that. Uh, anything that's stagnant, um, it, it, it stagnant, non-moving water, it works in. It is um, frustrating when you have a party 
and it has to move indoors at night because there are so many mosquitoes. Using the Mosquito Beater product is a great way to protect your guests from getting bit. Uh, I would use a combination of the granular because that the mosquitoes that haven't launched from the area, meaning they, they, ha- they aren't flying yet because it isn't dark enough or isn't the conditions for them. And that where you, you go and use a combination of the granule down across the area and then also use the fogger for any of those that are um, on, on the wing, as they say. Uh, one other thing is that uh, if any of you are afraid of bats or are freaked out by seeing bats flying around, uh, they are helping you. They are your friends. That The bats are, they will eat mosquitoes. I mean, they, they, I mean, there's a calculation, which I don't have in front of me, of how many mosquitoes they eat by weight each evening. So when you, if you have bats around, don't think that it's a bad thing. It's a good thing because they're reducing that mosquito population. Uh, Julio, yeah. itchy yet? I'm yeah, oh, feeling yeah. a little itchy. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I feel I, like I'm bit by mosquitoes yeah. just talking about it. Yeah. Anything to add? No, no. It's, uh, it's that time of year, you know? It's that, it is. Yeah. It is that time of year. And a, and a lot of times that that there was a, a trap that they had, but it was too expensive, that it was based on propane and that where you turned the propane on and it was lit and that it was the attractant of the propane being lit that it was cr- creating the CO2 that would draw the mosquitoes into the trap. Got the wrong idea. About what? Huh? I thought you guys were going to cook the mosquitoes. You're talking about well, propane. They, well, <laughs> yeah, but okay. what it would do, it's, it was all about the CO2 yeah, because gotcha. they're attracted. So, yeah. so if, if, you know, usually if, if say, if the, like somebody's doing, you know, a lot of talking, they're mm-hmm. the ones getting bit because they're attracted that CO2 right. that's coming out. out of the so, so, anyway. Exercise. Some interesting facts. facts. Mosquito beater, but yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's a way to go. You would see uh, on the bike trail a lot of mosquitoes following cyclists. Yeah. Big ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ex- and, exhalations. And again, the, considering yeah. like movement, yep. what they're wearing, yep. and then also that they're, you know, they're puffing. Yeah. Big mosquitoes. Get them! <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen these size mosquitoes yeah. before. Yeah. Wow. Well, remember, males are, are usually bigger. Okay. And they don't bite. Oh, okay. Yeah. 